In a season full of ups and downs, Coach Matheny and the Elam men's basketball team face off against Southern Conference rival UNC Greensboro in their final home game of the year, a game in which both teams will have extra motivation to try to pick up a victory. There, there's an added spice to this game uh, because of the proximity of the two schools and uh, being the last game of the regular season just uh, throws a little bit more into uh, this rivalry game. Anybody can beat anyone else in this conference and that's the fun part about playing in the Southern Conference. It's what I love about college basketball. Um, you know, playing a rivalry game, you know, there's nothing else like it. It's uh, the heat of the moment, um, you know, battling it out is a great feeling and uh, feels even better when you win. All emotions aside, this is an important matchup for the Phoenix as they look to gain momentum heading into the Southern Conference Tournament. We're going to have to come out firing on all cylinders, ready to attack uh, against a very good UNCG team. Uh, the total focus will be on how well we can execute what we do. And uh, what we've done well down the stretch is we've played aggressively. Our young guys in particular are beginning to grasp the idea that if you play on your toes, if you play aggressive, that even if you make mistakes, um, that it works out in the end. And uh, we have been far from a mistake-free team, but uh, I like the way that we've played aggressively in the last few weeks, and we certainly want to be aggressive on Saturday night. Home court advantage is certainly a reality for the Phoenix, and that cannot happen without the support of the fans. Especially a UNCG team coming into our place, I think our fans will be ready uh, to get hyped a little bit. There's a love affair that's developing between our players and, um, and our fan base. The energy has been sensational, but um, there, there's an intense relationship that's, that's forming. I know our players love it when the students come and uh, they love the energy that the students bring. The fans have been great this year. Um, there's been, I think, even more, more fans showing up this year than last year, which is awesome. It's going to be electric. I mean, it, this place is going to be on fire. On game day, the fans proved Coach Matheny right as a record crowd filled alumni gym to see the Phoenix square off against the Spartans of UNC Greensboro. And to see Drew Spradlin play his last home game as a member of the Phoenix. Drew Spradlin's had a great college career. I mean, he scored over a thousand points. He's been a part of uh, the upward progression of our program, and uh, it's going to be a special, special night. Um, not only because it's just another senior night; it, it's a special night because it's Drew Spradlin's senior night. Uh, you know, Drew's been great all year. He's he, he's a tremendous leader for us. You know, as the, as the only senior, um, he he really provides a lot of the leadership uh, on this team. It'll be great. For, for him to play in front of his home, home crowd for the last time. You know, in the back of your mind, uh, as a player, when you know one of your guys, one of your teammates is uh, playing for the last time, um, it, it means a little uh, something more. So uh, uh, I know that our players will, will do everything they can, and they do that anyway, but uh, in the back of their minds, they know this is Drew's last time out on the alumni gym. We're gonna go out and prepare just like every other game and we're gonna fight just like every other game. But, um, you know, I think in the back of everyone's mind, you know, uh, you really, really want to give all you got for, for the senior. Yeah, give me a fight, man. Here we go, one last time, give me everything you got. Peace on three, one, two, three. Peace. Drew led his team out of the locker room as the game began and fittingly scored Elon's first points, giving the Phoenix a lead that they never gave up. Elon scored 13 before UNCG gained a single point and pushed the lead to 21-2 thanks to four Jack Eisenberger three-pointers and some great play down low from Lucas Troutman. UNCG had some scoring runs, but were mired by costly turnovers and missed opportunities. Elon went into halftime with a 48-39 lead. The Spartans started the second half strong. Elon saw their lead cut to six three minutes into the second half. But Elon quickly took back the momentum with help from Riley Beaumont, who scored 10 of his 18 points in the second half. Mm -hmm. 
UNCG struggled to consistently hit shots in the second half, while Elon seemed to be unable to miss from anywhere on the court. As the game was coming to a close and Elon had a comfortable double-digit lead, the crowd's attention turned to senior Drew Spratt. Elon defeated the Spartans 93-79, and Spradlin got to enjoy an ovation from the Phoenix faithful of alumni gym one last time.